actually got a buff back on March 5th with update 7.3.5, and while everyone was focused on the update's massive shakeup to the PvP sandbox and buffs to perks like Hill Clip, a lot of people overlooked the small but important tweak, making it so proccing the perk is no longer dependent on the weapon archetype or getting precision final blows to proc it. It can now activate on non-precision multi-kills of three enemies within three seconds, in addition to still proccing on precision kills. And although this tweak seems small on paper, it's a bigger change than you might think for several reasons, five of which I'm going to highlight in today's video. So the first advantage to this change is now it's stronger on non-precision weapons. Previously, Hatchling used to be pretty weak on non-precision weapons like auto rifles, sidearms, SMGs, and even trace rifles, and heavy machine guns, because despite not being precision weapons, they still required precision kills to proc the perk. But now thanks to this change, you're guaranteed to spawn a Threadling after getting three multi-kills, whether they're precision or not. This opens up a handful of weapons to actually start using this perk on for even better at clearing. And when you consider they explode on impact, doing up to 338 damage, which is not that far behind grapple melee damage, they can be really useful for ad clearing when ad density is high. Also, this isn't just useful on primary weapons either. Trace rifles like Incisor, special wave grenade launchers like Tusk of the Boar, and heavy machine guns like Circular Logic also benefit from this change. This leads me to advantage number two, and that's that it now results in double dipping. Because it can now proc on both precision and non-precision kills, the potential for spawning multiple threadlings is a lot more frequent than before. Take for example, in the past, before this buff, if you killed three enemies in a row, the first enemy you kill with precision and the other two with non-precision, you would spawn one threadling. But now with the changes, you spawn a threadling not only on the precision kill, but also after killing the third enemy, resulting in two threadlings. And if you instead killed the first two with precision kills, you would spawn three threadlings total. If you consider an activity that has high enemy density, this becomes even more noticeable and a lot more helpful in ad clearing situations. This leads me to advantage number three, it makes demolitionist even stronger. A while back, I talked about the interaction of hatchling with demolitionist and how hatchling kills also count towards this perk's grenade energy. And when you consider that on strand, you can proc demolitionist with grapple melee kills as well as threadling kills, and the fact that we're making more threadlings than usual, this is going to make the perk combination of hatchling and demolitionist on weapons like Rufus's Fury even stronger, making it a great combo for strand builds focused on grenade and grapple melee regeneration, which leads me to advantage number four of this recent change, and that's that it's going to make strand builds even stronger. With threadling builds already being a thing, those builds are only going to get even better now because you can better utilize them with your loadouts. It also enhances fragments that relate to threadlings, like Thread of Rebirth, which on strand weapon kills progresses a counter that spawns a threadling in addition to any threadlings you get from precision or multi-kills. You also have Thread of Evolution, which increases the range, speed, and damage of threadlings. Since you're going to be producing more, it makes this fragment even better. And finally, we have Thread of Generation, which gives grenade energy while causing damage, which includes any damage threadlings cause to enemies. This also would pair really well with a demo hatchling roll on Rufus that I talked about earlier. And finally, for advantage five, it complements prismatic builds. Because prismatic can utilize aspects of the strand subclass with aspects like threaded specter, which creates two threadlings on detonation, it allows hatchling to complement this aspect by making more threadlings when ad clearing, even when running prismatic. Not to mention, better ad clearing complements prismatic aspects that play into each other, like generosity, which spawns an orb of power when you get a kill while transcendent, which then allows generosity to feed into purpose, which when picking up an orb of power, grants elemental buffs based on the super we're using. And it could feed into prismatic even more once we learn what the other eight prismatic fragments are that Bungie has yet to reveal.